You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. People in Sweden are confused by President Donald Trump's remarks that suggested a major incident went down there. During a rally in Florida on Saturday, he alluded to past terror attacks in Europe and added, look what's happening last night in Sweden. It wasn't clear what he was referring to as he continued, Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. That's my Trump. Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Katarina Axelson said that the government wasn't aware of any terror-linked major incidents, and Sweden security police said it had no reason to change the terror threat level. Of course, the comment got a huge reaction online Sunday with hundreds of tweets, including one from the president himself, clarifying the comment. He took to Twitter to say his statement was in reference to a Friday night Fox News interview with documentary filmmaker Ami Horowitz, who said refugees taken in by Sweden are raising the crime rate. My statement as to what's happening in Sweden, <clears throat> okay, was in reference to a story that was broadcast on at Fox News concerning immigrants and Sweden. Trump spent President's Day morning continuing to tweet about the issue. The fake news media is trying to say that large-scale immigration in Sweden is working out just beautifully. Not. Sweden has a long reputation for welcoming refugees and migrants with a record 163,000 asylum applicants in 2015. The country has since cut back on the number it annually accepts. The Trump-Sweden incident comes after Trump counselor Kellyanne Conway referred to a Bowling Green massacre that never occurred, and she was caught up in a public feud with CNN. So what? Yeah, we're gonna cut to SNL every time we mention Kellyanne Conway. All right, so fake news, real news, fake incidents, real confusion. What do you guys think of the president's comments? Be polite and kind, and let's talk politics in the comments below. For the Howard Reporter News, I'm Paul Gustavale. See you guys. This episode of the Hollywood Reporter News is brought to you by American Airlines, Hollywood's favorite airline.